let's not keep saying when are you gonna get a boyfriend or when when are you gonna get a husband like <laughs> when the lord says Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's it that's it and he hasn't said so so clearly there's not a man here but but i just Ah, what i don't know what hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel obviously i have a guest today it's my girl katrina (laughs) but i'll get into her formal introduction in a second but welcome back to the channel today we are kicking off or kind of continuing in the in the waiting series all right so kind of alluded to it in my last video talking about in the waiting with discontentment but we're focusing on in the waiting specifically in different seasons of our lives and today we're talking about the dreadful topic of singleness okay like i feel like nobody wants to talk about singleness because everybody <laughs> wants to <laughs> yes but i'm like okay there's beauty in it we need to debunk this myth that like that singleness is for the dreadful it's for like someone who you know doesn't have their life to get it's we need to debunk the myth and i have my girl katrina to help me do that today and just to give like a glimpse into what her singleness looks like um and yeah show off that ring she said exactly she's off the market folks but yeah she's about to get married in december i cannot wait it's gonna be so beautiful y'all it's so beautiful but yeah i just wanted to like you know give us a glimpse into what tangibly practically spiritually it looked like different tips to help you know someone who may be struggling in their singleness right now you know and what that looked like for you like take us down into it like the depths we want to feel what you felt type of thing you know what i'm saying but like (laughs) no pressure (laughs) no pressure no pressure don't hold back just just give it to us straight how it was and we'll get into that in a second as well but y'all stop what you're doing if you are not subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button like it and everything like that share it with a family member a friend who you know may be struggling like in their single life um in that waiting period and stuff like that so yeah all right so (laughs) i feel like a couple people gonna click off automatically because it's just singleness (laughs) like who talks about this but we need to debunk this okay like singleness is beautiful it's a time of preparation it's a time of growth and trial and error different things like that all right this is katrina Right. Okay. Almost Katrina Buckmeyer per. Uh. <laughs> but um, yes. Yeah, so Katrina and I, we went to school together. We didn't really meet at the school per se. Like I knew of you, but mainly like we got closer because of church and th- different things like that. And I was always that person asking for a ride. I'm like, hey, can I can I ride with you, Katrina? <laughs> and she would always have the most like enthusiastic response i'm like wow like i need friends like this who will just like pour into me one but then also oh, that who is kind of caring there we go um <laughs> because literally like whenever i asked her at, she was like of course girl i'm like oh shoot i'm not a burden you know what i'm saying like you need friends like that you need friends like that but ultimately yeah um just thinking about our conversations that we've had katrina regarding singleness like when we were both single okay when you were single <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You left me, but um, we were both single oh. together and just like having conversations and just hearing your heart also regarding like desiring, wanting a spouse one day and knowing that like there were times that I'm sure like we'll get into this, but like you were saying before, like times of doubt, um, maybe that you would have experienced in that you know, season of your life that you're like, okay, I know that the Lord, you know, hears me, here's my cry, here's my lament, here's my desire. Um, but right now I don't feel so good. You know, right now I don't have the most confidence in this, even though I want to believe it and I know it's true. Mm-hmm. I don't have the full confidence and real fast. I want to get into the first question that I want to ask you. Okay. What are some struggles that you personally face in your singleness? Like ultimate singleness. I put this in the notes. I don't know if you saw that, but like no prospects, nothing. Like there was just like it was dry. Okay. Nothing. Dry, like phone, 
Mm-mm, nothing nothing happened. Okay? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Like, what did that look like for you just navigating that area of your life? Like different feelings, emotions, reactions. Etc. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I know one of the struggles that I had in the beginning was just being like envious or almost jealous of like people that were in relationships. Yeah. Starting relationships or engaged or whatever the case may be um because in my mind I'm like why do they have like what I'm confused like how did they end up with with somebody I'm like I'm I'm lost lord what what's happening yeah. um so I think that was one of the big things in the beginning and the lord had to like check me and be like no like that's not something that you need to be doing because that's the story that I'm writing for that person. Mm -hmm. So like, let them do and be with who, who they're going to be with, get engaged, do that. Like your time is coming. Mm -hmm. Uh, So after I transitioned out of that, it was just kind of being anxious and like trying to put people in the position of being like, Oh yeah, you're nice. Let's just start (laughs) talking and let's just, you know, hey, um, and that quickly, you know, didn't work out because it wasn't the Lord. It was me trying to put somebody in that position. And I struggled with that for a little bit. <laughs> but I think after like those two things happened and I just kind of took a step back and was like, all right, like the Lord is in control of this. He knows, like you were saying, that I am desiring to be married and that I want that to be a part of my story. Um so I just started to just enjoy the season that I was in. And I just was like, okay, like this is where I'm at. I'm going to maximize on this season. I'm not going to, um, you know, just wallow and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so- <laughs> well, this is horrible. Um, because it can be very easy to do that. And then like, yeah. especially, you know, the, the school that we, <laughs> we went to, like the culture of, yeah you need to be in a relationship. You need to start dating someone like what you're, you're in grad school and you're not dating anybody or you're not married. You can start to feel this like societal and even sometimes church pressure of, Mm. Oh my goodness. Like I need to be dating somebody or I need to be talking to somebody right now because I'm behind. Um, when the Lord doesn't say anywhere in scripture that like, Oh, you need to be married by 23. If you don't like you're the worst Christian ever, Mm -hmm. the Lord doesn't (laughs) doesn't say that. So like this societal and church pressure can that some that sometimes was a struggle because like if I would I would come home and people be like oh you're not seeing anybody yet or what's the prospects like and I'm like okay can we talk about something else yeah like, thank you for pointing out that I'm single I know that I am but I know like you've been at high school for how many years you haven't found anybody all right thank you I have yes <laughs> but, like, yes yeah, like, okay so I think that's kind of I feel like a lot of the struggles that I had were like outward mm-hmm. and like people you know people just wanting the best for me of course and just being like oh my gosh but it can sometimes come across like oh like am I doing something wrong like am I just not <laughs> like what what's happening that that I'm not with someone or I'm not dating anyone and once I kind of just tune that out Mm -hmm. I realized that again the Lord was writing my story and he knew the timing of everything and he wanted me to maximize like being single and building community and all that stuff like I as you know I thoroughly enjoyed my singleness and I advocated for that with like the people (laughs) in my in my friend group that were like oh my gosh I don't want it it's like no like enjoy that like there's so much beauty in singleness and in every season that will that will experience as life goes on so yeah wow I think that's key what you said one of the things that you said that Jesus was letting you know he was like I'm writing their story and Mm -hmm. this is your story and then once you realize that once you matured in your thinking regarding that that you maximize what was in front of you mm-hmm. and then you were able to help other people in that too because y'all we used to be at Katrina's apartment okay watching like what was it we had a Valentine's Day yes it was last year actually before everything started happening and stuff like that but that was so fun like I remember 
just feeling so loved at that Valentine's Day party because I'm like, yo, I could be at home sulking. You know, this is the the season of love or the, the <laughs> holiday of love and everybody got somebody that are like that. But like, ultimately, like you can love on the people around you. Like you can love on your friends around you. Like if you're not, like one thing that the Lord is like teaching me in a waiting in this waiting season for me not just in singleness but just in other aspects like job career um like car different things like that you know that I've been seeking the Lord for and just guidance in that if I can't steward what I have in front of me now then yeah. he's not going to he, gonna give it to you <laughs> exactly <laughs> so if you're like, not right yeah you can handle this exactly. I'm giving you right now and you want to be married which is like <laughs> Uh, lifelong commitment exactly. like oh okay yeah <laughs> right does that make sense to you because that is yeah, like I don't exactly. the lord been having like i don't think that makes sense but right okay, okay. That's, okay. that's what you want to do want. So, right yeah. yeah and like maximizing that because um you know, I've heard people say this before, and I definitely believe it to be true that he's a good father. And like, as he is, I was, we view him as a father figure. Like people use this example all the time that you won't give your child like something that they're not ready for. You know, say a three-year-old wants a piece of steak. All right. <laughs> Let's say a baby, a baby wants a piece of steak because maybe a three-year-old can chew it, but a baby definitely cannot. They have yeah. no teeth, nothing. Okay. That's I don't even think that's good for their insides. Yeah. Everything isn't <laughs> developed yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if they're like, oh, I want a steak. A good father, a good parent would not give it to them before they're ready, before yeah. they know that they can handle this, right? And the scripture says, will not be tempted beyond your ability. And in that moment of temptation, the Lord will provide a way of escape. Like he won't, like people say all the time, he won't give you something that you can't handle, stuff like that. But you know, it's true. Like he, he knows what we need when we need it. And so being able to, you know, be patient in that aspect. But I really like what you were talking about, allowing the Lord to write your own story. And so if you could give us like, I guess a glimpse into like what that story was like or how that story is still continuing to be written. I think feelings um I was I was always like joyful mm -hmm. but there would be moments where I wasn't like happy mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah, yeah. so I would just be like oh my goodness like <laughs> oh lord like I, or even like antsy of like okay mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. <laughs> okay like just anticipating it and it literally like people say it happens when you least expect it like that is a, that's how my story happened and I know some people are like that's a lie that's not how it worked but that's that was my story <laughs> um but yeah I definitely there were moments where I was just like okay lord like I have all of these beautiful things I'm building community I'm you know, involved in my church. Like I love my family. I have amazing friends. I have all of these things. And like, I am joyful and I'm so grateful for what you provided, but there's still moments when like, I come to my apartment and it's just like, yeah, I'm here by myself. <laughs> and I would love to be doing That's this real. life and like building community and building all of the things that the Lord has called me to with like my future husband with my husband um so definitely in moments just feeling like a little sad or like down or even like hard on myself I I, I think sometimes we as women just like get kind of like nick nitpicky or even just super hard on ourselves and we're like oh well, maybe if I did this differently or maybe I if I went to this different store maybe then <laughs> Yeah, it was flat. Maybe I'm just on, yeah. on a different part of the sanctuary because maybe I'm not seeing it. On the left side, so I gotta that's the way. Right like, so you start to just like overanalyze, and I think that's what yeah. I started to do was just start to overanalyze. I'm like, like, am I just not? Do I need to go to a different church, Lord? Like, <laughs> a different church, or do do I need to like just about to go to a whole new? Church. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yes. Like, literally, again. Mm -hmm me trying to be in control and yeah. i think that's what it comes down to is like part of my story was like i had to let go of control and trust 
that the Lord knows what's best for me. He knows the things that I'm praying for, things yeah. that I've ever told anyone, things that I've never written down, but things that I've just like said silently in my heart of like, what I just pray that like my future husband does this or has this quality. Like he knows all of that and he's orchestrating everything to, to come into place. And I, again, like, I just think we can start to just overanalyze and start to try to grasp control mm -hmm. the lord is like this life isn't your own anyway mm -hmm. so why are you trying to <laughs> why are you trying to be in in charge of it or why are you trying to be in control of it like i'm the one that is going to orchestrate i'm the one that's going to put things into place mm -hmm. i'm the one that's going to say yes no mm -hmm. like continue to wait like he's going to do all of those things yeah. so why am i not just like relinquishing control and just giving it to him um so i think that's just i feel like those were like the main two emotions and i think that's why i tried to keep myself busy when i was <laughs> single so i was like oh there's something going to the church i'm going to church i'm gonna serve i'm gonna <laughs> exactly a friend do oh yes i'll be at that birthday party oh there's something yeah i, I just kept myself busy because satan knows that when we are by ourselves like that is when we are most vulnerable mm -hmm. yeah. and we end up making bad decisions we will end up going far away from what the lord <laughs> wants wants from us because we're by ourselves we're in our thoughts and like that's when the enemy will come in and just be like oh yeah that's why you don't have nobody yet or that's why mm -hmm. you're this way and you'll just start to just go on a downward spiral um so i like force myself sometimes to be like okay yeah like they're doing this thing or these people are hanging out i would much rather just stay in my apartment but i know that that's not the best decision for me because mm -hmm. it's just not it's not healthy um i would go out and just be like yeah let's go hang out let's go do stuff i don't know like and but at the same time the lord was like nurturing a community of people mm -hmm. that i have to this day that have just like poured into my life and were a part of me meeting my now fiance and like going through that journey so it's just it's so beautiful how the lord was like yeah get those people around you because they're going to be the ones that are going to be supporting you and praying for you while you're when you go into this new season of of dating and and being in a relationship and ultimately getting engaged so it, the Lord knows. <laughs> that, that's all I can say. <laughs> no, I don't know if y'all heard that or was touched by that. Like, I just feel so like, ah. you were pre you were talking to me, okay? Like, just now you were talking to me. Like, I feel like in any season of waiting, there's a temptation to do something. Whether mm -hmm. that is a temptation to dwell on that lie that the enemy's trying to plant in your head, you know, yeah. dwell on loneliness, dwell on doubt, dwell on envious, like your envy, like you're talking about earlier. There's a temptation to do so. And what you were saying, you have to literally like focus mm -hmm. your attention on Christ, on who's around you, on what is around you. Because if we're waiting, because we know that God is going to provide his best for us, mm -hmm. then we need to trust the one that we are Yes. you know waiting on if that makes sense and one thing for me <laughs> no actually <laughs> yeah, before, yeah. I, before <laughs> I go into that before I go into that okay one thing you mentioned was control and <laughs> that's another thing control and then the other thing that I was gonna say but whew, control <laughs> and the anticipation mm -hmm. I think that's that's it like we want to be in control of any aspect of our life because mm -hmm. we think we know what is best for us and if someone tells us otherwise then who are they to tell us you know what i'm saying like we we're so hard-headed sometimes if the lord were to direct us in a certain way if we're so focused on our own feelings like say you were so focused on like that ounce of unhappiness for a moment or yeah. that ounce of loneliness or that ounce of um envies for a second like if if you're focusing on that so much then you're not giving the lord room to 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 direct you to guide you like i love i forget um 
where specifically it is, but it, there's a verse where he's basically saying that the Lord he guides him with his eyes. And mm -hmm. only way that we can be guided by the Lord's eyes, not even just his voice, but his eyes, only a close proximity yeah. type of relationship. Like you have to make sure that, you know, you're, you're focused on him and that you know what his voice is like, but you can be so in tune with him that like even his eyes directing you in that right direction yeah. will give you that confidence or will ultimately like you can you can see that you can sense that but yeah that was the second thing that i was going to say for me it's patience okay like it goes with anticipation and the control mm -hmm. yeah but patience who that's that's the scripture okay david says i waited patiently for the lord and i'm like that's the problem like i'm waiting but patiently am i waiting yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Um, because like you said, like once you try and do things in your own strength or it, it just doesn't end up well, or it may not be, maybe it does end up, you know, okay. But we all have that sense, like as we have the Holy Spirit, he'll give us those nudges. Like, and as we're continuously like spending time with him, he'll make it clear to us, like, if this is his best, if this mm -hmm. is God's best, or if we put our hand on that situation, like like you were talking about. So yeah, waiting patiently. I think that's one of the hardest things to like. I asked a couple of people, a um, couple of friends, like mixture of guys and girls of what their struggles, personal struggles were um, mm -hmm. that they are currently experiencing or have experienced if they're dating now, different things like that. And one of them had me like, I was like, yes, girl, like that was it, okay? That's it, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, that was the one. Um, so, some of them said loneliness, um, learning how to be content, especially when you just get out of a relationship. Um, that's a whole nother thing, like whole nother conversation. Yes. Another episode. So <laughs> another episode, okay? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then um, purity, that was a, a continuous okay. theme. So I noticed that like, it wasn't really specific to, okay, guy, girl type thing. It was just an overall like, um, there was a mixture, yeah, singleness, right? And so, um, sing so purity regarding like sexual purity, but then also mental purity. Um, you know, if you do want a spouse one day, like once you start dating, like purity in your in your words and your actions, purity in your intentions, like everything like that. So, yeah. Um, another person said like finding the purpose in it, allowing the Lord to guide you and to be obedient to his, his step, his every step, his word. Um, and then the last one was impatience. Uh, <laughs> this person, they sent out like this long paragraph. They were like, they were like, Hey, I think one of my biggest things in waiting for that person is wanting it so bad that I can't wait type of thing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that person was saying that like, you know, or I'll just say in general, like I feel like sometimes we can want something so bad that like you we were, we were talking about, like, okay, we'll try to put our hands on things or, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that never works out well. And so I don't know, like, <laughs> Ah, uh, that's I, I was just gonna say like go ahead i think patience yes everybody's gonna say that yeah but patience is a fruit of the spirit so that Ooh. means that when you kind of came to know jesus and you yeah. you and got his spirit mm -hmm. that means you you got patience mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of living that out yeah. so i think like sometimes we get like oh my gosh patience I, oh 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 patience it's like <laughs> When you got the spirit, you got that. Mm, you got love, period. you got joy, you got peace, you got gentleness, you got you got you you got all of that. So it's just a matter of being like, all right, Lord, I'm going to tap into that because I know it's in me because your spirit is in me. So that means that I have the power to be content, be patient in whatever it is, like whether it's waiting for a job, whether it's singleness, whether it's, you know, if you're married and you guys want to have children one day or like it's literally applicable in every situation. I think sometimes we can get so like singularly focused that we think, oh my gosh, single people are the only people that are trying to be patient. It's like, no, like 
that couple that's engaged is being patient because they're anticipating marriage, that couple that's married um, and that maybe believing the Lord for a child, like they're, they're in the season of, of patience and being content where the Lord has them. That person waiting for that call from that job. Like, so it's, I think sometimes we can, again, get so like focused on like, oh my gosh, this is my situation. Yeah. But when we look up, we can see like, oh my goodness, all of these people are dealing with like being patient and waiting on the Lord in some way, shape, or form. And that's why it's so good to be in community because then you're able to see like, oh yeah, Susie over here, even though she's dating, like she's, she's still having to like be patient and wait because like now her and her boyfriend are talking about marriage and like that, that next season. So I think again, we can, when we take our eyes off the Lord, Mm -hmm. we start to magnify our problems and the situations that we're in when our eyes need to be on Jesus. Like, just like when with Peter, like as soon as he took his eyes off the Lord, he started, he started going, Oh, Oh, the water, the water, the water. (laughs) And Jesus is like, like, keep your, keep your eyes on me. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Like, stand up you can you can walk like it's okay and i just i think we again we start to just get frantic and mm-hmm. like all over the place and he, again like the disciples in the boat storm is just going crazy jesus is asleep in the back yeah. so it's like if jesus is saying just hey Be take still. a breath it's yeah. gonna be okay why are why am i running around like i'm crazy like if the one who is literally in control of the universe is not worried why do I have to be worried? Yes. Like, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. So I think that was what I had to preach to myself. It's like, okay, yeah, the Lord knows. And he's telling me, Katrina, just be patient. Take like take a breath. Continue to be in community with be in community with people. It's gonna like I'm working it out for your good. And like when I just settled in that, yeah. I was just like, oh yeah, I'm like happy. I'm, I can, I'm good. And then right when I was like, woo, yes, single, the Lord is great. I love this time. And we were in this amazing place. The Lord was like, okay, now that I know that I'm enough, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you don't really have to have this, mm-hmm. but it's something that you want. I'm going to be a good father and I'm going to give it to you because I like, I love you that much and I want you to enjoy Mm -hmm. this aspect of being in a relationship and getting married so like you I know I it probably like people will probably listen to this and be like she's making it sound so simple (laughs) but honestly though like it can be when you just trust the Lord yeah that's what it is we just just let that (laughs) let that marinate for a second Jordan's like I need to take a breath (laughs) yes yes okay 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 a second all right like you said, regarding any season of waiting, there are these similar struggles. And while these struggles may have a different maybe feel or they're, they're just in a different context. That's basically it. They're in a different context. Um, and I love what you said, like focusing on community. If y'all don't get anything else from this, okay? Trust the Lord and have community. Build community. We're going to come up with another point, but th- those are the two <laughs> points right one. now, okay? Trust yeah. the Lord, yes, and and build community because, like you said earlier, that the enemy, like, we're in the most vulnerable space when we're alone and when we're in our own thoughts, when we think that, okay, we're the only ones that are dealing with this, we're the only ones that are, are feeling this way, are um, having these struggles, we don't know how to get through them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The enemy, that's his prime, like, spot, you know what I'm saying? Like, he knows what our triggers are, he knows what, you know, what we're tempted by, and so if he can get you isolated without you know, that community around you, encouraging you um, in your faith, restoring, you know, any doubt that you may have or or just directing you back to Jesus, directing you back to the cross, then that will happen. We have more of a tendency to dwell on those thoughts. And definitely, (sighs) as a single woman, okay, it's, 
Mm. But I'm not even okay. <laughs> no, but let's hair flip. Let's hair flip, okay? <laughs> but let's talk about the beautiful side of it. Like you, you alluded to it a little bit. How okay? Um, you found that community. You were mm. pouring into your family. You, yeah, etc., yeah, etc. Et like you found beauty in that singleness. Like, what did that look like for you specifically? literally building community at the time I was I I mean I still have my own place but mm-hmm. I have my own place so like I was inviting people over like I was having Friendsgiving I was doing like game nights I was doing Valentine's Day like I was just like you know not like trying to drown out like time by myself but um instead like feeling what could have just been like oh I'm just gonna sit here and be here it's like oh no like let me invite some people over like let me learn about the people that I'm going to church with or that I'm you know going to to school with and all of those things so I loved having people over like that's one thing that I just love is just creating a space for people to just come and feel like they're at home um so the Lord was like why don't you use that like I, I yes I will use that and grow in that when I'm a wife but like I can be doing that now like the gifts that we have like aren't only confined to when you get married like that doesn't make sense (laughs) um and then I was just like trying new things and I was learning about my myself and like what I liked and what I didn't like um just like not so much creating like a long list of (laughs) yeah but just being like oh yeah like this is something that I would love to do with my my husband in the Mm. future um, or even, you know, I started a podcast and just this. Yes, just you did. <laughs> also, not subscribe. What are you doing? There? Do you subscribe on podcasts? I follow, 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 follow subscribe. Like that. Okay, yeah. Y'all, y'all kids know. I feel old. I'm like, y'all kids know. What to do. Um, <laughs> not the yeah. hand. It was the hand. I was trying new things. I was taking myself out on dates. I think that people, like, when I said that, people were like, what? Like, I would go <laughs> to the movies, like, by myself. Like, I wouldn't be like oh my gosh I don't have anybody to go no I'm just gonna go because I want to see this movie and I I don't have to wait until I'm in a relationship to go to the movies (laughs) or you know go to dinner or whatever it is so I was just like kind of just putting myself out there while also at the same time inviting people in Mm -hmm. um to my life and you know again learning about them learning about their stories and um the seasons of life that they were in because they had things to teach me just like I had things to teach them um so yeah and like spent a lot of time with my family like just I feel like I was just kind of doing just everything everything <laughs> and I mean I was also in school at the time so like I was finishing my degree so it, I was just kind of I don't want to say uh, like I said earlier like trying to like oh my gosh I'm just gonna do everything and not but just like okay I have this time I'm gonna maximize on it I'm not just gonna sit with my hands under my legs and be like well since I don't have anybody I guess I'm just gonna be in my house like no I no thank you so (laughs) if you're that person that's like "Mm, I'm just gonna sit and not do anything until the Lord sends my husband it's like okay yeah no like the Lord is probably calling you to something Mm -hmm. he's probably he probably has things that he wants to grow in you and nurture in you yeah. before you meet your future spouse. Mm-hmm. So like, why are you just going to like sit on your hands? Like, mm-hmm. no, again, like the Lord, if he sees that you aren't being diligent and stewarding well, what you have right in front of you, yeah. why, like, why would he be like, oh yeah, let me bring a husband into this. <laughs> and then y'all both just all no. over the place. No. So yeah, I just, yeah, I, I did a little bit of, everything I yeah. traveled you know before COVID mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and just was like oh yeah I'm just gonna go on like a long drive and I'm like wherever I end up is where I end up you know safely of course <laughs> I was gonna so, say be, be safe out there don't Dude. be like I'm gonna take a drive at uh 10 30 at night um maybe not mm-hmm. go in like the middle of the day like just exploring new towns like <laughs> All yeah. of all of like the fun things that I think some people try to confine to like, oh, you have to be in a relationship to fully. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, no, I'm going <laughs> to debunk that and I'm just going to go do it myself because yeah. I want to. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have to wait for a man or to get a spouse to enjoy those things. Like that's yeah. just not 
Yeah. What I was about. <laughs> First of all, if y'all heard everything that she just said, rewind it and take notes. If you didn't take notes, okay? If you didn't take notes, rewind that and go take notes because she gave some practical tips right there, like different things that she did that work, obviously, um, you know, that <laughs> oh, not work in the sense that like, oh, she, no, like work yeah. as in, okay, she found contentment in this or um, she she shifted her focus from her own, you know, feelings or or struggles to this type of thing. So y'all go write that down and maybe do something like that. Like do a self-care weekend, do something for, you know what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. (laughs) But then also like, you know, stay in tune with the Holy Spirit. Anyways, um, like you were talking about earlier, like sometimes there's a pressure, like other people are, are putting that pressure on, on us. And if you could talk about that for a little bit, um, what advice would you give someone who feels pressure from mm-hmm. other people to be in a relationship um, when maybe they, you know, want to be single right now or it's, yeah. it's causing them to desire that when, you know, maybe that's not their time right now. So, like, what advice would you give someone who feels that pressure to yeah. be in a relationship? I would say advocate and speak up for yourself because a lot of times people in any situation keep doing things because someone is not communicating that hey actually that makes me uncomfortable actually I don't like when you say that that makes me feel some some type of way Mm -hmm. um so I would say just advocate for yourself and be like wow I love that you want me to be in a relationship and you want me to enjoy the beautiful season of marriage but like right now being single is what is best for me and if someone is still like but again I appreciate that but this is what me and the Lord Mm -hmm. are are working through and again like I appreciate your concern appreciate your love I'm so glad that you are just praying that my husband will walk through the doors I love that (laughs) thank you but right now this is where me and the Lord are Mm -hmm. like this isn't me the Lord and you Mm -hmm. but no, this is me and the Lord. And that's going to be in the relationship. Yeah. And when the <laughs> Lord sees fit to bring that person, he'll bring that person. Yeah. Um, but yeah, speak, speak up for yourself, advocate for yourself and um, just get around like-minded people. Because mm-hmm. um, I think sometimes when you are around people that are just like Debbie Downers or just like, oh my gosh, I hate this. This is the worst. Like that can just transfer over <laughs> that's your your spirits will just be like oh well i guess since you're that way, I guess I'll be that way too, no. we can <laughs> that. um so yeah be around like-minded people so that you don't feel like you're having to like go against that all the time or have that pressure and i mean if it's like your parents like again you can have a mature conversation with your parents and just communicate like hey mom and dad i love that you want me to be married and you all of those things but like right now it's just not the best time or um I am praying for that but it's just not here yet so don't like when you say certain things if it, it, it pressures me or it feels yeah. um like uh oh, makes me makes you feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. um I think that's the greatest thing that you can do is just advocate for yourself and speak up for yourself and then be around like-minded people because sometimes you'll look around and it's like everybody around you is just like, you need to be in a relationship, you need to be in a relationship, you need to be in a relationship. And you have already communicated with them like, hey, these are the reasons why I don't want to be or these are things that I'm working through before I want to get to that place. And they're still trying to pressure you. Then like, that's a them problem. That's not a you problem. And you need to be like, I love you, but you that's not what I need right now. Like I need someone wow. that's going to walk with me, not walk against me as I'm trying to like follow what the Lord is calling me to. Cause that can be like more detrimental than anything is like mm-hmm. you people that are just like, is always going against you. And you're like, you're supposed to be on my team. Exactly. Like I'm confused. <laughs> why are you pressuring me when I've told you yeah. or laid out why I feel like the Lord is like calling me to singleness in this season? Yeah. And then you're like, but, 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 and it's just like, Mm-mm. hey, why are you so? Yeah. Well, take a breath. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> Calm down. I- I'm telling I'm you. Good. Or, you- yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, just make sure that people that you have in your circle are actually like for you, mm-hmm. um, and they listen to what 
you say and they're not trying to like push you to be in a season that you know you're not ready for yeah yeah. Uh, and when you do that the right people will be like yeah I get that I but I'll walk alongside you as we work through this Mm -hmm. and I'll figure it out together like what do you need from me to make sure that you you know are and it'll it'll work itself out but yes yeah. definitely advocate for yourself you don't feel like you have to just take <laughs> all the things that people are saying to you like no you can be like actually no I don't like when you say that so let's not keep saying when are you gonna get a boyfriend or when when are you gonna get a husband like <laughs> when the lord says Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. that's like, it that's it and he hasn't said so so clearly there's not a man here but, but I just <laughs> ah, what well, I don't exactly. know what and exactly. it can be hard with yeah. like family and adults and I know and I again like we're living in a different like time so to speak <laughs> like you know pa- our parents and maybe our grandparents and even great grandparents were getting married like 20 21 22 like that's just not yeah, the reality 19, now like uh-huh. the average age for a person to get married is like 28 29 right, so right. it are like our our priorities are a little different than they were 50 years ago and that's mm-hmm. okay and it yeah. doesn't like nobody's story is exactly the same like I have a friend that got married at 20 I have a friend that got married at 23 like mm-hmm. I have a friend that got married at like 30 31 32 like that's okay again everybody's story is different there's no like cookie cutter way Mm -hmm. to find yeah your spouse like as long as it's founded on the lord it's beautiful so it don't matter if you meet your spouse at the grocery store if you meet them on bumble that's where i met my fiance if you meet them (laughs) at church if you meet them at the gas station like the the lord's not gonna be like "Hmm, you guys met at a gas station I'm not gonna honor that like what like (laughs) I think we again we get so confined to what society is saying or the church is saying that it's just like but what does God say what does God say his opinion is the only one that really matters wow come on Katrina and that's why and that's why I'm just like yeah I'm not stressed about it like Mm -hmm. if the Lord is on is honored in this I don't see what like why it's a problem yeah Woo, that is so good like, <laughs> that is so good <laughs> so good like as you were talking I just kept hearing like you have to have in order to have that mindset you have to have confidence in mm-hmm. God yeah you have to have confidence in God, in yourself, in your ability to even speak up. You have to have confidence in your stance, first of all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because if you are, what is what is that scripture? It's like um, the one who doubts is like a wave tossed to and fro yeah, or something like that. Yes. Just, Man, just, unstable. Ooh. Yes, exactly. Just, you know? Again, like, all over the place. <laughs> like the disciples just right. freaking out. <laughs> and the Lord is in the back sleep. Right. <laughs> like calm relaxing yeah okay so why are you you all over the place right right and I again I know that that sounds like oh my gosh that's so that's so much easier Mm -hmm. said than done but again like it's it's a practice like just like our relationship with the Lord like Mm -hmm. it's a continual thing like it's day by day being sanctified so like can't expect to just wake up one day and be like yep I'm content (laughs) <laughs> and it's like yeah, it's just like a magical life Ooh, no like it's like I am going to like work it, it, the scripture says in the trying of your faith work with patience so like yeah. if it's going to take patience to like for my faith to grow and like be at the place that the Lord wants me to like why would I think it would be any different with any other situation in my life right, like right, right. when Patience is what grows us and matures us into mm-hmm. what the Lord wants us to be. Because again, we're not relying on us or our strength. We're relying on him because he knows he has a plan and we can rest in that and be okay. We don't have to be trying to shuffle and, and put things into place. So it's like, okay, yeah, I know the one that's going to put this right in front of me. He's going to go before me and he's going to prepare and whatever that looks like I'm going to trust them mm-hmm. and that's not to say it's going to be perfect that's not to say it's going to it's not going to be like hard or there's going to be there's not going to be like hard trying seasons but 
knowing that the Lord is with us, like yeah. that's enough to to push us to keep going. Yeah. Uh, no matter what it is, whether it's yeah. waiting for a spouse, whether it's waiting for a job, health situation, whatever it is, it's like, okay, yeah, my faith is being tried, but like, I'm going to come out more patient. I'm going to come out like stronger mm. through the situation. So. Wow. 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 Mm. I think going back to what you said like the enemy gets us in that he wants us to be in that isolated state so that we don't believe that truth um because once we do believe it yeah (laughs) you can't say anything to us okay like nothing what was that we believe it oh okay i thought you were saying something no all right (laughs) but oh my goodness that's so good like one of the things um that you mentioned really was just just going back to that confidence you know like going back to having the confidence in Christ and not in our flesh not in our own ability um to create something or whatever but to know that okay once I put my trust in God like yeah he's going to come through and I know that he will because he's done it before it regardless of what season it is he's done it before and he will continue to show up and and once you believe that we have the upper hand okay as Christians we have dominion we have power we have confidence we have um the authority over our situation and just being able to decipher between okay this is a feeling but this is what the word says as I go through this You know, this is a trying time, but like you said, I will experience or, or I will have that patience at the end more than what, you know, I had before or just learn something new. That verse, Mm -hmm. because I was like, what is it? And it's it's in James Uh um, chapter one, verse three, and it says, for, you know, that the testing of your faith produces Mm -hmm. patience and let patience have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete. Mm. Lacking in nothing. Yes, you know, man. Like, <laughs> even if yeah. again, like you're being patient and the Lord still hasn't provided that spouse, you're not lacking anything. Mm. Like, the Lord is give you have everything that you need yeah. for right now, yeah. and trusting that. Okay, Lord, when you see fit to bring that person, you know that like that is what will continue to grow me and mature me into the person that you've called me to be. So like rest in that like it's just like okay when he's working that and pushing me towards patience like it's gonna have its full effect and it's gonna be perfect and it's gonna be complete and I'm not gonna lack anything because God is good so and that's just how he works so like believing that will give us peace Mm -hmm. believing that will give us peace believing that will give us like we have to believe that like whoever's watching this like believe the scripture to be what it says it is like don't add any don't add your own little yeah little situation into it no lines at the bottom no no no. No. you can add your notes on the side but don't mm, just (laughs) believe in the scripture the Holy Spirit inspired word, because that is what is going to sustain us through seasons. That's what's going to sustain us through these waiting periods or um, just, you know, getting out of certain feelings, just spending time with the Lord, you know, spending time in community, like you're saying, just to recap, like spending time with our family, loving on them, finding out what our purpose is in the single space, because we will never get this season of our lives back. Yeah never and so did you do everything did you follow in what the lord called you to do or told you instructed you to do in that season Mm -hmm. you know just 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 and not putting pressure on that you know because i feel like oh someone may be like oh my gosh that's so much i have to do some no but just be patient and and find out what it is the purpose for that season um and cling to the Lord, trust in him, everything, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So girl, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And sis, she about to get married. Okay. Like, let's see the, can we see the ring? 
This your first? Ooh, that one is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh yes. my goodness. The Lord will exceed your expectations. Literally, I was just thinking, yes. Like mm-hmm. scripture says, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above mm-hmm. like all that we could ask or think. Yeah. Like that's why you just need to trust him and like just be patient. Enjoy where you're at. Like don't try to rush to the next thing because the next season has its own trials and Mm -hmm. situations and everything like so like you rushing to that next season doesn't mean that like all of your problems are going to go away Mm -hmm. or that you're not going to have to be patient or you're not going to go through like difficulties it just means you're in a different season and it's going to be a different situation that's gonna push you to to draw closer to the lord like Mm -hmm. at the end of the day like like you said cling to jesus because he's the one that's going to be consistent through all of the seasons of life that we face like no matter if it's being single being married getting a new job like becoming a parent like whatever it is like the lord will be faithful in all of those things so he needs to be the foundation in every season because if not you're gonna get to marriage and still be mad. <laughs> like Ooh. you're gonna get to that's marriage. what be happening to some people. Yes, yeah, you're gonna get to marriage and still be bitter and angry mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you didn't work on things in your singleness mm-hmm. and really do the groundwork. Then it'll be elevated even work. more because yes, like, someone else who is exactly. like in close proximity of, that will yeah everything is exposed. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just like work on here. It. We are exactly <laughs> what we're doing. So. Like, do the work in your singleness. And that's not to say that, like, everything's just going to go away when you get married. But, like, you want to be a whole person. Like, I mean that mentally, spiritually, emotionally, when you're connecting with someone else. Like, you don't want to give half of who you are. And you wouldn't want the person that you're marrying to give half of who they are. So, do the work and your future spouse will be so grateful for that. Right. Like, wow, like you did the work, like, you know, who you are and whose you are. And like, we can go together, like in our marriage and do even greater things for the Lord. So that's so good. Yeah, you do the work. Cause that's so good. You have to do it eventually. Like, <laughs> either you're going to do it in your single list, you're going to do it. It's like, do it. Yeah. You got to pick. Either you want to now, figure it out or you can have another person the mm-hmm. hey, to see all, to see everything so, right, exactly <laughs> to see it all to see yeah. it all be like oh all right <laughs> gotta work on this yeah <laughs> right <laughs> but oh my goodness gracious Katrina I bet and I pray that someone is blessed by this I know that someone will be blessed by this because just just talking about singleness from the perspective that okay it's not a curse you know it's not this this taboo thing that i i shouldn't be single because people are telling me i should be here late you know what i'm saying like it's just it's just a season it's just life it's a part of life and being yeah. able to to navigate that well and to walk through that well and to cling to the cross um cling to community around you in that season just walking that out like I appreciate this call so much because like your wisdom your experience um just what the Lord has imparted in you um being able to carry that over into you know encouraging someone else in maybe in their now season you know what I'm saying like you encouraged me just now you know what I'm saying like (laughs) I I was fine I was fine but I was like dang (laughs) That was good. Like, I'm going to need that later on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm going to have to go back to this. Yes. Save this in my my archives and watch this when I'm feeling, like, lonely or I'm feeling envious of, of someone else or um, just anything like that. Like, just, just knowing that I'm not going to settle for anything less than God's best and not putting my own hand on that situation um, in, in order for that to happen because his hand his blessings are so much greater than what we like you said exceedingly abundantly more than what we could ask or think above what what we could ask or think literally like above what we could even do and so 
y'all go watch this again share this with a friend everything like that but before we head out i wanted to read the verse that you were talking about earlier um psalm 40 verse 1 but then also go into uh verse 3. so david is saying this is titled my help and my deliverer he's saying i waited patiently for the lord he inclined to me and heard my cry he drew me up from the pit of destruction out the miry bog right yeah miry bog i don't know what that is i'm gonna have to look that up <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Anyways, um, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. Mm -hmm. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. And just this verse, even verse three, that's that's really the part that gets me. He's like, he put a new song in my mouth. Like once he moved me from that space that I was waiting in, once he picked me back up, once I followed him rather like I, you know, he got me out of it, but ultimately like me trusting in him got me out of it as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like, but knowing that, okay, as I'm walking with him, I have security. It says my steps are secure, but he put a new song in their mouth, yeah. a song of praise to him. Many will see. And that's the thing like that. I want people to experience that. Okay. God put a new a new song of praise into your mouth, Katrina, like yeah. with this blessing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and now you're able to pour back into someone else um, who may be in that in that similar state and and causing them to to trust in the Lord because they saw that trust that you put in Him, or they saw that 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 patience that you that you got as you endure different things like that so that's my prayer that people will be encouraged by this and that other people would want to you know find find patience in this because they want that same thing to happen for someone else regardless of what season they're in if they are single if they're in another waiting space these are key tips okay practical spiritual etc and we hope that you all are blessed by it. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, Katrina, for um, no, no, no. just talking about this and sharing us, sharing with us your wisdom. Um, and I just pray that the Lord continues to to bless you in your life and to continue to guide you. And He will guide you, but that you know you maybe have to look back on this and find patience in the waiting. You know what I'm saying? Like, as you wait before you get married, because time is ticking. It is. But, uh, I don't know how, how fast or slow it's going for you, but... <laughs> I feel like it's going slow, but it's okay. The Lord is so thankful. So good. It's oh good. my goodness. But yeah, I appreciate uh, you so much, girl. I yeah, appreciate I love so you. Much. Love you too. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing work. Like, Praise this God. is going to touch people that you may never even meet, but you what the Lord has called you to do, and that is all that matters. Like, yeah. you may never know until you get to heaven, and somebody's like, "What are you two <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. you're gonna be like, "Wow!" Like, I didn't know the impact that it had, but it is having an impact, and that's what happens when you follow the Lord and yeah. when you listen and obey Him. It's like He's gonna take care of the rest because that's just who He is. So appreciate this so much we gonna log off now um like i said share this with a friend comment subscribe like all the stuff all the okay things. yes oh, all the good things and subscribe to her podcast i'll put the link um in the description box so y'all can get on that too okay but so i love you so much girl and i will see y'all next time bye <laughs>